This is Ground Affected. My name is Brent, and welcome to your seventh layer of yellow on top of your sixth layer of yellow. And if you've been searching the internet for information and tips on how to 3D print and paint 3D models, then this is the right place for you to be. Make sure to leave a like, probably consider subscribing because you don't want to miss out on any future updates to this channel. Recently, I've just been to Greece, so I don't have a massive video for today. However, I do still have something prepared, super small, but something that could possibly give you some information for a future project that you might be working on. If you've ever wanted to add whiskers or anything like that to your models, then I've got the video just for you. A few weeks ago, I made Sian and Khufu. Khufu is the cat that is on the base of this model. He needed some whiskers to be added to him. I thought this was a great opportunity for me to take the time and show you guys how I add whiskers to a model. So the first thing you need to do is grab yourself one of these toolkits. It's a super small set of drill bits and it comes usually with a little handheld vise or whatever you want to call this thing that basically you're going to use to drill with by hand because a drill with power is going to have way too much power and is going to snap these bits or destroy the model or piece that you are trying to drill. Also, you need to cut some of the bristles off your wife's dustpan and brush and do not tell her I told you to do this, but that's what you need to do. I also use a bit of super glue to secure them in place. What you need to do is plan where you want them to be and take the smallest drill bit that you can find that will fit the size of the bristles from the dustpan that you had essentially cut the bristles from. And then what I do is I drill a hole, I make sure that I go all the way through because of course my prints are hollow and then I just check that the piece fits in. If it fits in and I've gone all the way through, we're ready to roll. Just freaking drill the crap out of that thing. Drill all over the place, wherever you need there to be whiskers. I didn't want to overdo it, you don't want to do too many. Just remember, it's not a real animal, so it doesn't need a billion friggin' whiskers, but it does need enough to make it kind of look like there has whiskers on it. Once you've drilled all the holes, I give it a dust off, and I make sure to check that I have enough bristles for what I need to stick in to which holes I drilled. I then take a bit of super glue, and I pour this onto a little piece of paper. This just makes it so much easier to apply rather than trying to pour it on the end of the bristle. Too much super glue is going to leave white marks on the model and it's going to look terrible. So what I do is I dip it in the super glue, make sure there's not too much of it on it. If there is too much, I might just wipe a little bit off on my thumb and then I will stick it in place, making sure it goes all the way through and you will feel it kind of grab as it goes in. Super glue dries really quickly and it sticks very well to nylon as well as it sticks extremely well to resin as well. So what I do is I just go all the way around the model making sure to stick in a little bristle into every little hole that I had made on his face. In this case I think I did somewhere around 6 or 7 per side. I can't really remember and I definitely did not keep count. I just made sure it was equal and that's all I really did basically. Once I got them all stuck in. I made sure that they were kind of bent in the right way. Unfortunately, I'd lost the little clip of the video where I actually cut them down to size because they are a little bit long in this piece, but I did cut them down slightly and bend them ever so slightly back. Hopefully, that gave you some insight on how you can make your own whiskers on your own models, be it a cat, be it a lion, be it whatever the heck you're trying to make. If you want to add whiskers, this is probably one of the easiest ways of doing it. And now that I've delivered that information to you guys, I would like to give some more information around a couple of things that have been going on recently over the last two weeks. The last couple of videos that have been uploaded were uploaded while I was in Greece. I went to Greece to tattoo a person that I had tattooed many, many years ago, and he shipped me over just to do his tattoo. I will be trying to put together an edit because I took my drones and I flew them around the mountain sides of Greece. So I will try and get an edit together as soon as possible, and I will upload that in due course. Also, while I was away, I was supposed to be ending the competition for the resin and wet palette. However, Instagram decided to put a big in my and so unfortunately all of the tags that were left on the tag have disappeared there is only like seven left so thank you for that instagram that is congratulations well done you are such an amazing application that helps my laugh so much because now i have to rerun that competition because that's extremely irritating i'm so sorry about that people but please make sure if you did enter that competition and you still want to be part of it 
please make sure to re-enter your model. I'm so sorry, it is not my fault. A lot of things seem to happen all at one moment so this is how it's gonna have to be also while i was away we managed to get a few new patrons and for those people that just joined i would like to say a super thank you for help keeping these lights blind in my eyeballs and making sure that this channel can continue to grow lewis roots roots renowned models sam smith and stephen bateman thank you my dudes it is because of people like you that we are able to keep these lights on and we are able to keep this channel going. Also, you are helping to facilitate the total takeover of YouTube by Ground Affected. Now, I would like to thank anyone who managed to make it this far in the video. Of course, if you have, I thank you so much for your support on these videos that I'm creating. And of course, if you would like to join the only Discord on the entire planet that has some of the best printers and painters that ever existed you perhaps want to join the patreon that is in the link down below in the description and while you're down there you might want to leave a comment something like just words any kind of words youtube does allow you a space just at the bottom of the video to leave these words so you should indeed leave these words at the bottom of the screen i thank you so much for leaving your words i thank you for your thumbs up and of course, if you did not like anything you saw in this video, then there's nothing I can do for you. However, what you can do for yourself is to just click the dislike button and f*** off, bruh. That felt so awkward having to record a video again. I haven't done one in weeks.